Tuesday. Tuesday night and we are back on episode 5. Zero five of Noble Dwarves Light Harbor. Harbor Town. Light Harbor. Well, Light Harbor. We're going to go with Light Harbor. Um, tonight we're doing more buildings. And i got a choice. We can like draw a couple of Georgian buildings. Could do a couple of Edwardian buildings. Just to kind of like talk about roof styles, etc. Maybe we'll do that. We've also got this massive poor district to do, which is why we were drawing warehouses yesterday. And not that poor people live in warehouses. You poorest person, you. But um, it, 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 they're definitely going to butt up against each other, right? And I said that I was going to continue drawing docks and warehouses at the start of tonight. And I think we're going to. Maybe. Kinda. Sorta. A little bit. Just a little bit. <coughs> Pick up where we left off. I don't know if I'm going to do all of the warehouses. I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. But kind of like, let's get ourselves warmed up. Somehow this road ended up being like all cockeyed, but I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it. You'll note, one thing I do, if I have this weird angle that I'm trying to address, the use of railings or fences, that type of thing, or yard, plus little kinks in the building can make all of the difference. So like, here, right, let's come around the corner, let me show you how I'm going to draw around this corner here. I'm going to draw, like, let's do a little kink opposite that, suggest a doorway or something coming in. Then how are we going to get around the corner? Well, we'll do a straight one, and then we'll draw a little kink, suggesting maybe a door again. Little kink to address the fact that I was hitting that at a pretty sharp angle. We'll come down here, add a little alleyway or something. Just like that. Hey, Papa! 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 What I should be doing is Papa! Papa! Taco! Taco! Good to see you, my friend. Actually, I, um, well, A, you know, Tuesdays or Wednesdays tend to be quiet. One of those is always quiet. And the second thing is, I literally just started streaming about 30 seconds ago. But I talk anyway because I record this and then I put it on YouTube. So I'm trying to... I'm trying to be helpful. I'm trying to... Try to... You know, do stuff. This is how you do this. One just sitting there in stony silence. Try to be good here. Try to, like... Get my, like, narrate on. And here you are with all of your... Papa Fox hating. Let's 
Let's do it some cranes. Crane me. Uh, I don't want to do that. Let's do it this way so we can actually see the boom of the crane. And let's not do that. Let's do this. Just kidded. Now I'm going to shut up, you see. Because now you're the only person to actually talk to. I'm just going to go stood in silence, honey. But no, it's actually, it's kind of weird. It's like, I'll come off a hopping stream, like one day. Very next day, dead. And it always happens around the first half of the week. Always. I think it's just be people are doing things, you know. I shouldn't be doing little boats and shit at this point. But I can't help it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do warehouses and I'm telling board of warehouses. And then we're gonna go draw some poor people shacks. All right, so here's a great example. I, I have a really cocky-ass road here. And I don't want to draw like this. I could, but I don't want to. So I'm actually going to do, following the road a little bit, I'm going to kink it down. I'm going to come across like so. And we're actually just going to do like the front yard. Is that what they call it? Yard? Loading, loading yard, work, work yard. What, what would the yard be called in like an industrial area? Would it be yard? One more Uber warehouse. And I think we'll actually do a bridge on the top of this one. Because we're going to do another warehouse, kind of like next door-ish, kind of, sort of. We're going to do a narrow little alleyway, like so. I'm not doing any roof detailing right now. We're definitely going to do some. I want to get the basic shapes in. Okay, that's not too shabby. Let's hit save. Yard, yard. I always, thought, I always thought that if it was a work, like shop, yard, it would have had a different name. But maybe, maybe I'm trying to overthink here. Tonight won't be a crazy long stream, by the way. We have flights tomorrow to Total Khan. So we have to get packed and get ready for that. 
All right, let's 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 bring some of our let, let's get into the port area here. Kind of come. I'm gonna bring it down like this. That looks good. That though, that looks like a pretty damn major frontage of docks right there. That looks pretty cool. Hey, Miss J, Miss J, say ha. Are you uh, done with your current house assignment, young lady? We are going to add a couple of trees here to soften up some of these odd and harsh angles. And I think I'm going to do the same here. But then to define the edge of the road, we're going to do a little fence. Alright, we're going to just shoot that away into the pole pole area. Misha, you have such an incredible life. The fact that you're bouncing from house to house like this. How do you land the next assignment? How do you know where you're going next? How do people find you? gonna start our book places what what defines poor smaller buildings closer knit alleyways I think smaller than that right where is our scale bar all right, this music could go. This music is obnoxious. There we go. House sitters website. Okay, okay, that's cool. Like Uber, but for house sitters. says what are the elevations of those hills thousands of feet my friend thousands yeah um the the client is not specific in that way and i don't i don't think they really care they just it's meant to be hilly so i haven't actually determined but we're definitely going to do stepped buildings on them the reason why i haven't done that yet up here is that because that's actually a garden area but I think uh, here we have, here we put like uh, the campus on top of that hill. And here we're going to do the same. 
we're definitely putting buildings all on those elevations, 100%. And then we're going to try and capture that with Shadow Ink. <laughs> Mystery, I would imagine that you'd have to have some kind of reputation, right? Because if you, like, were not trusted, that, that shit's got to come out real fast. Oh yeah, they're, they're definitely too large. I think we can go to half the size. Yeah, we can go to half the size. And I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, right about right about here. I'm gonna start spilling into poor. I'm gonna have some slightly larger tenements, I think, along the edge near the wall. That's a thing, actually. Tenements. Courtyards. Get that New York type of feeling, you know? You got these big, towering buildings. Not that this will be towering in this, but you've got this courtyard that's all pokey with little alleyways going into it. There's King Bashman. Hello, sir. So if we're going to do that... Let's, let's create some little courtyards. But seedy courtyards. We want them to feel cramped and stuff. And we're probably going to have more buildings as well. That are like this, where we suggest much smaller and like cramped up against each other, like so. We're going to have more like that. And less roof detail. And then also in the colouring, we're going to make them feel a little bit grungier. Way more of this. Little alleyways, little buildings, a little bit more haphazard, like they're just spilling around, just jammed up against each other. Where there are bigger structures, there's these dingy courtyards in between them, full of trash and stuff. Good news too, by the way, everyone. Someone is making puppets. So maybe, maybe not in the far distant future, we will have puppets on the channel. And I never imagined I would ever say those words. Puppets. It's Diablo Bob. He's making them. And um, he's actually doing foam ones too. He's going all out. Papa, yeah, exactly. Rio de Janeiro, um, cramped, ramshackle. Yeah, a lot of that. I'm going to spill into that. So you can't see me, but we're going to come up here. We're definitely going to spill into a lot of that. It's meant to occupy kind of like this area right here. I think arguably I could put them up against the um, the city walls and everything as well. I like the idea of um, tumbling shacks actually going over the walls. I just don't know if the city would permit it, you know. I've done it on other maps. And I don't know whether you'd walk in through a gate 
and immediately have shacks everywhere. Or if there would at least be a small bastion of some guards or some stables and then it gets into Shack City. So that's the kind of the way I'm painting this. Do we spill over the walls? Do we spill over the walls a little bit, even in a part? Was this? Yeah, this was just showing that they have stuff spilling out. spill out do do we spell or not to spell that is a question now there'd have to be a darn good reason to spell out and they would they, they wouldn't let you right they wouldn't let you. well no actually if there's a huge volume of buildings outside the walls then one could theorize that it's not really a city that is that much under act actual attack and the, the dangerous danger used to be hunted years ago or thousands of years ago so maybe although now i'm thinking back to like chester where we had complete roman walls we never built over the walls we built up to the walls but never over them well yeah, i'm gonna leave that hey brian's here Miss Jay King needs you if you didn't see it. Brian, you still at work? Well, not still at work. That would be a terrible shift. Or do you have something that you could share with us about this uber mega map of yours? check some of these here but I think I think this is about the right scale that that is definitely going to feel a lot poorer yeah let, let's do it let's let's draw a super poor area let's have some fun with this let's go cray cray now normally by the way what I would do here is I would like draft off where I want my roads and I'll do this type of thing and you know say oh maybe they'll go do this and then maybe they'd like and this gives me like a guide to like do my roads against and this creates little neighborhoods well I kind of just did it but I'm actually tempted to ignore it to a large degree because I want I want these shacks to be forming the roads you know I want just 
random alleyways, not major roads in this particular poor area. I want it to feel dangerous when you walk in there. Well, Brian, whenever you, whenever you have something to share. We all like seeing you work, you know that. And in fact, um, I'm going to go away to Total Con here shortly, like tomorrow. So that gives you the best part of the rest of the week before I stream again next Monday night to have something prepared for us, young man. Entertain the troops. Let's, let's join up with that over there. Then let's see how she's looking. That, that's going to have the right feel. That's going to be a good feel. Let's see how many poor buildings we can draw tonight. King, I hope that works out, man. Keep us all informed. That, that, getting Kickstarter backers to actually respond, that is one of the joys of running the Kickstarter. I can tell you now that I have actually backed Kickstarters and never claimed my reward. Until years and years and years later. And go, oh, right, I backed this. And I actually tried to stay on top of my stuff. It's just going to be one of those things, don't sweat it. You just got to be diligent, send out the updates. If people don't respond, they don't respond.
No, it definitely is. It definitely is. But, I mean, it's it's just one of those things. You, you're going to get a percentage that, like, never respond. And then you're going to get a percentage of them that come back to you a long time later, like, complaining. You just got to do what is an honest effort, my friend. That's all you can do. And that said, as someone has run a few Kickstarters. This, this, this map is gonna take forever. Am I geared up for GaviCon? Yeah, I think so. I'm actually more worried about some of the um, additional things I was gonna do this year. Like, I actually wanna submit a couple of things. At least one thing to the auction. I think it'll be a couple. Um, and they're going to be prints of my stuff, like on canvas. But I'm not actually taking them, someone else's, so, you know, I'm worried about that. Um, running games, I will be testing out at TotalCon this week. So that, that should go fine. I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. What about you and Randy? I assume you're both going, right? I know both of you had some trials and tribulations in life right now, so I can't actually make that assumption. How do I want to approach this? Let's just fill in this area. Let this just stay on target. Stay on target. I thought it might be something like that, King. Did you get yourself another job? We could do it this way. We could do it this way. We can absolutely do it this way.
think I'm going to do another one of those courtyards. Uh, I'm not filming that hard. Uh, and I'm not filling this. There we go. Who are you talking about, uh, Toon King? I still have your game hold gift to pass along at GabbyCon. say to photoshop not today what what game whole gift I, you gave me a gift it, it's this map that i've got right here i, I stare at it all of the time who was that artist hoff richter you gave me stuff already are you kidding me there's nothing more to give you spoiled me already, sir, both of you. Although I will take more dice, because I play a lot of Shadow One. Gotta do a little bit of that going on in here. Like semi permanent structures. A gift of the liquid variety. You gave me a gift of the liquid variety. I know you did, because I drank it and I got drunk and I passed out in Ola's game. Personal bone coloured one. Ah, if it works for you, man, I'll take it. I actually have four bone coloured ones, if they're the same ones. And I wish I had a fifth, because I like glue grouping all my little dice into groups of five. Makes it easy for when you're doing 15 dice or whatever, you know. But seriously, your dice roll so well. So well. For um, Shadow and like, my, my character is kind of unstoppable. Like, fives and six hits, right? I'll roll 12 dice and get nine hits. It's ridiculous. And I do it all the time. All the time. I've only got eight perception. I'll get six, typically. Easily. No less than five. I mean, they get better than 50-50. They're probably not weighted, but I don't care because they're awesome. I know, right, Miss J? I mean, they don't, they don't feel like they are. And if I'm going to be fair, I mean, in amongst these dice, I have a Gary Khan die or two, a Game Hall die or two, and they equally roll well. Is there something about con dice? Maybe they're all equally unweighted. Unweighted.
But my little character is lethal. She is just a lethal little assassin. I love her so much. And I, I put down a lot of that to the right chattiness with the dice. I think that has a pretty good feel to it. I think that has a pretty good feel to it. Oh, no, the little toys and stuff sent into them. Miss J, 100%. 100%. In fact, I have a set of um, skull dice. The pips are skulls. But they've been drilled into and carved out a little skull set in there. That has to set off the balance. It has to. Right? And then you get these other ones where there's a goldfish inside here or something. There's no way that that's balanced as well. Not even close. It has to play into it. King, you got to explain that one. What dice? What game? What were the circumstances someone asked you to roll different dice? I need to know more. I was asked to put dice away at um, ReaperCon because it was sharp and the GM was concerned that it was going to damage his mat but I've never been asked to put dice away because someone suspects me of like cheating or something Let's move you. Actually, let's just put this sprig of dead tree in your courtyard here. There we go. Oh, two King Game Dice. You're running a 10 slot of Hour of Ancients. Three fireballs in a row. Rolled 46, 44, and 47. Wow. So it's fireball damage. Maybe they are weighted. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Because... You, I, you do the right thing, by the way, as far as I'm concerned, you have the symbol. The symbol is the high. That's one reason why I love rolling them. If I see symbols, they're sixes. 
it, it makes it so simple. But then, if that was adding weight, then it would roll over them to the one. So maybe the symbol and lack of six pips makes it light on that side. The one's heavier? I don't know. They roll good for me. So as far as I'm concerned, they're awesome. Now I will say this, and I mean this, and maybe this goes to show that they're not weighted. When I use your dice to roll a character, they roll like crap. Like if I'm rolling to hit someone, and I roll six dice, fives and sixes. If I'm rolling 4d6 for strength, eight. 4d6 for int, seven. You know? So I think that that's, that's you know, I'm thinking about it, they're not weighted. I think they just like being rolled in groups. That's the bottom line. They like each other's company. They get they get a a roll bonus for synergy with with their fellow brothers and sisters. Synergy bonus. Next time you do that, someone says, "Hey, you got to get rid of those dice." You go, "What? What? They just got a synergy bonus." They roll better when I roll lots of them together. Hence, fireballs. That's some crazy damage you were doing right there. That's awesome. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. I think that's what we're doing. No, that's fair, King. I mean, sometimes, I mean, like, it's a social, um, it's a social game, right? And you, sometimes you just got to do the nice thing. Just to keep harmony at the table. Was it another player that asked you to put the dice away? Do a little bit more, I think, of like the courtyard thing. I don't think I'm done with courtyards. Yeah, there you go, mister. You're getting it. A few more courtyards yet. And then just a reminder to everyone, even though you are a smaller cross-section of the people that normally drop into the chat, I am not streaming... Potentially for the rest of the week, I will be at Total Khan. 
I always say I would like to stream at TotalCon. There has been some discussion by War Games Week on about streaming with me. But I'm going to promise nothing. If you see it pop up, I'm streaming something. I will be streaming when I go to GabbyCon. Wizards of the Couch actually going to stream one of my games that I'm going to run. So that would be fun. That would be on a Friday morning. So that would be a little bit different for the channel. But this weekend coming, probably going to be pretty quiet. Hey, it's all good here. It's all good. Just for you. Allow me to zoom out. I'm kind of just doing the poor district right now. So, pretty darn small buildings, my friend. Pretty darn small buildings. I think the more you know the secrets, the more I change them. You know how it works. So you know this area so good. It was marked as um, poor. Poor and industrial, I think. I think it was poor. So what I'm doing is a combination of both. We've got a poor area here, flanked by more industrial buildings on the sides. Gets more industrial and larger as you come towards the docks. This area here, I'll make a little bit more industrial, you know, larger buildings, smokestacks, that type of thing. But then we're going to bleed into pretty poor area of town. Big in spirit. That's big in spirit. We could do it. I'm going <coughs> to go into my shack now and die. Let's, let's do that pocket. Puku. Let's do that place right there. And then maybe we can stream down there and actually get one little district. Kind of done. That'd be nice.
Sometimes I just like to zoom out, get a general sense for how it's feeling. The map's got to feel good, right? It's got to feel um, like it's telling a story. And I think it's always worth zooming out, taking a holistic look, just to make sure that it feels balanced, that the story is still there, the vibe that you're shooting for is still resonating. So time check, I'm going to get a stream for about 20 more minutes. Then I'll be packing bags. But let's see, uh, let's say you're close to actually finishing this poor area we can get. this hole. I thought that's what I was going to do. in the middle of the slums a little spot of green surrounded by brown that people point to and go, well, what's that? Why is there a tree there? Flip it. Flip it for wheels. Come on. What, you gotta, you gotta lose touch? Oh! Oh! What's crashed? Really? Wow! Okay. Let's see how much we lost. When was the last time I hit save? <laughs> no! The special tree! Well, you know, Photoshop is typically pretty good. But it lost our special tree. And this is the recovered one too. Oh well, well let's redraw our special tree in. 
It was destined to be. Oh, we actually lost a little bit of work there, didn't we? Wow. That's unfortunate. Well, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? <laughs> That's what the safe prompt is for, you bastards. That, I think, is the first crash we've actually ever had. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, if you consider the amount of maps we've been doing and the amount of time we've been streaming, what, since about April last year or something? Alright, so now it wants to know where to save it. So let's, let's actually... Just call it that. Cool. Tree is back, my friend. Tree is back. It's all good. End of the day, we didn't lose too much. But it's a nice little wake up call to me that, yeah, Photoshop could crash. It happens. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot, lot worse. I think, I think it's like, if I do too much um, rotating, zooming, etc. Like, almost too much Wacom. I swear Wacom and Photoshop really don't like playing together. We didn't lose too much though, did we? No, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, clearly I was doing something here, but we can fix that easy enough. We didn't, we didn't draw out all the way over here, did we? I don't remember. I think I do. I, I don't know when my first stream was, but I'm, I'm sure I could find it on Twitch. I'm pretty sure it was around April, May. Something like that. Maybe. Yeah, I think it was around there. We'll have to do something for the special for the birthday, won't we? We will have to do something special for the birthday. We're going to have to have a birthday uh, stream. How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? I think I must have been in the middle of drawing some kind of courtyard here. Alright.
feel like we might have lost a little bit of work there. I feel like we'd lost something. Let's make sure that tree feels special. Yeah, look at that. It's just a wickled tree right there. I'm tempted to actually put pond or something down here. Red Bond Games made it for the live stream. And you know, tonight's a shorter stream, so you made it just in time because I'm only going to go for about 10 or uh, 15 more minutes, something like that. This is what we've been working on. We're currently drawing very small buildings because it is a poor area of town. So we're trying to make sure it feels congested. We got our warehouse docks there with our cranes and our little crates and stuff. We got a military compound over there. We got some wealthier buildings here, and they actually start moving into some estates and some um, was it embassies right there. We got to obviously finish off the, uh, these buildings. We got a little marketplace here with a lighthouse in the centre. We got our campus up on the hill there, a university. And this heart, and it's definitely going to be here. This is poor coming into industrial, coming into the docks. So that's what we're kind of doing right now. And what is the map scale, actually? I have a, um, I have a scale right here. It looks pretty funny. But that's 80 feet right there. So that's 40 feet. So that little house right there is about 30 feet. That is 30 feet across. So these are little shacks. This one here. That's about um, 70, 80 feet across on frontage. And that, I see, is like a little condo in this part of town. Then these over here, these more government buildings, or merchant buildings, they're like the 80 feet, 60 feet type of thing across. Let's see how much of this we can get done. You just missed me actually having a face, uh, Facebook, yeah, Facebook crash, yeah, that's relevant. No, um, a Photoshop crash. Let's just make sure I'm drawing on the right layer. I am, because I always tend to screw that up.
Hey, Blaine, you got something to show me? Nice. Alright, so anyone that doesn't know, Brian in the chat here is also a cartographer. Most of the people in the chat are. Brian is working on a ridiculously large map of the Yucatan right now. We're going to take a look at it. Brian McWooders. Wow, that is looking spe- is that the one? That's looking cool though, man. That's looking really cool. What's going on up there? Oh, you've got like some kind of map in the background. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Oh, that's your trace. That's your trace layer. It looks really good, my friend. Exceptional work. That's going to be a lovely map. All right, let's keep going with this. Let's hit Control Save. Now, I'm pretty sure that we might be getting into a realm where there's a named building that has to be on this map. I'm not too bothered about that because deleting and redrawing sections is easy. Or we just pick on something that we've already done and said, that's it. Don't like that. That was absolutely terrible drawing. Brian, do you have a deadline on that map? I assume you do of some description. Like, I know he's running that game, isn't he, at GaryCon. Is he expecting you to have a version of it ready for then? Let's do that. That's not good. No, no, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Crooked walls and all. We're going to draw this last little bit, then we're going to erase some roads, and we're going to call this section done. Well, the rate you're going on that, you'll probably have a pretty good version for him to work from, right? Is that little fenced area? I don't know. Oh, we need a graveyard. We're going to have the graveyard outside the city. 
But I wonder if there'd be a small one inside the city. Not in a poor area, that would be just rubbing it in their faces. But maybe. Are you going to be at GaryCon this year, Brian? Is that still up in the air? Although I think the last time I asked you, you said no. Can't make it, okay. Are you going to any conventions this year? All right, let's zoom out. Let's erase some roads here. Let's get rid of you. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Think that. Okay, there. That's. Well, we have scratched, little squinty scratchy on the map. Very, very, very slow progress, but I guess one little piece at a time, right? Bigger buildings should go faster overall. This is going to be a labor of love, this one. North Texas, fantastic. Okay. Hey, Noble! Sorry I didn't see you there. Noble, just before I finish the stream, yes, I will send over a copy right at the end of the stream, my friend. No problem. Um. So we've got... A good portion of our docks, you see that I've started to draw in cranes and crates and carts and such. We've continued that up until this area. We've got, and then I stopped because I didn't want the whole night to be about drawing docks. We've got our military complex that you asked me to draw there. We've started drawing our embassies and the likes here. Obviously, we come over into the main marketplace. We've got our university and campus on the top of the hill there. We will be doing the hills as well. I want this to... I'm, we're going to do it through shading. So we'll, we'll make the top lighter than down below. We'll get all of our shadows and stuff in there. So and we've got our clock in the center. And then my plan is to take the docks up a little bit into more industrial merchant type areas so these will be medium-sized buildings or industrial with smoke stacks and that type of thing coming into the port area so we've kind of got a chunk a good chunk of the port area we're probably going to spill into here a little bit if they're going to bleed they're not going to be dissected by roads they're going to bleed together so that's kind of where we're at right now I think it's going to be incredible coloured. And even better on a big poster size. I'm telling you. I think this is going to be... I mean, the amount of detail that we're throwing on this... I mean, yeah, it's going to be nuts. That That's the plan. I, I want you to look at rooftops, building shapes, their proximity to each other, the way they're laid out, the way everything feels, you should get a sense about what it's about, right? And here we did courtyards 
a, a little bit like, um, in fact, I'm just going to delete this little sucker. I started to see um, almost sections of New York. You know when you're in a hotel or something and you look out and there's like there's this, all of these other buildings and this grungy courtyard in the middle and you're like, what is that about? I, I wanted to create sections like that. So the larger buildings here, I see more like tenements around the grungy courtyard, but there are some larger buildings, but we've got a few of those. And then here, shacks. Shacks just there, and it's all alleyways. There's, there's like maybe one road that comes through, and even that's a little bit haphazard, you know, where buildings are starting to lean into it. Then it's all alleyways. Places where you can get lost. I want a place to look at it and go, Oh, I don't want to go in there. Looks rough, you know? And then we've got one little tree right there. It's a special tree. Ah, where? The cemetery, we think, going up... I'm going to hit say The cemetery going up the hills on the other side of the river. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, let's draw that in. Uh, I just did that. Let's put it on there. Oh, let's make that. There we go. And maybe, well, I know it's that side. And we can dial in which hill it's on. Actually, I can get rid of that now. And I think we can get rid of this. And this. Let's get rid of you. There we go. There we go. Nice. Right, so that, that's our start of a turn right here. There she is. Oh, Mr. Val, we're about to end the stream, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta go pack. I'm flying tomorrow morning, so I gotta, like... I gotta do stuff. I gotta do grown up stuff. But love you, Mr. Val. Love you, my friend. Sorry you missed the stream. Might be next Monday now. Depending if I stream or not at TotalCon, it might be next Monday. We will see. You might see a little blip, depending if I do interviews and stuff. Noble, I will certainly endeavour to, my friend. Thank you very much, and I'm very much looking forward to a few weeks' time meeting you with Gary Khan. Mr. Val, thank you very much. I'm going to end the stream here, because I do have to pack some bags. And, um... I'm not promising anything for the next few days, okay, in the weekend. If an opportunity comes up to stream, I will stream. I can tell you this, at Gary Khan, I will be streaming more. There's going to be a few things going on that will be streamed. I have had said a total calm. Someone has said that he wants to interview me and stream it at the same time. We'll see. We'll see. No promises. I've got to play this one by ear. If I don't see you during the week, I love you all. Always wonderful hanging out with you. Worst case, I'm back Monday night, okay? And we will continue with this in earnest because we'll have something like three or four weeks before Gary Khan of nothing but solid work and we're going to see if we can break the back of... Harbour Town. Light Harbour. Hey, I got it. Alright, I love you all, everyone. Everyone have a great rest of your night. If I don't see you, I'll see you Monday. But we'll see. Maybe I will catch up with you a little bit over the next few days. Either way, I'm going to be posting a lot on my social media channels. I'll see you then. Bye.